First, though, a heated meeting in Osceola County as school board members consider whether to update their mask policy. Osceola will continue to allow parents to opt out of its mask policy. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The district just started requiring masks with the opt out last week, but the board decided to take up the issue again tonight. And as News 6's Troy Campbell shows us, parents had a lot to say. After a couple hours of public comment, the Osceola County School Board decided to not make any changes to their current mask policy, which allows for parents to opt out without a doctor's note. We spoke with a parent who says he does not want his son to wear a mask in school, and we spoke to the school board member who called this emergency meeting. Because I pay your payroll. Woo! Tense moments inside the Osceola County School Board chamber Monday evening. Parents for and against a mask mandate in schools address the board with their concerns for both sides of the issue. So it was important to be here for me, for my son, for every other kid in our school. Michael Kepnar says as a parent, it's his right to allow for his son to not wear a mask inside his Osceola County school. With the mask on, it does impact students. It reduces their social interaction. It reduces the facial recognitions that you can see, the reinforcement of smiles and laughter. District 1 board member Terry Castillo making a motion to require a doctor's note to opt out of the district's mask policy following a court ruling against Governor Ron DeSantis' executive order banning them. No other board members supported her motion, preventing it from advancing. The board has decided and we are a board. We're one body. So I, I, I think that at this point, you know, we're this is what has been decided. Castillo says mass in school is a heated topic, but says listening to the science can help save lives. Very emotional time. People are tired. People are fatigued. People want something to happen so that this isn't our reality, but it is our reality. So what's next for the school district? Their current mass policy expires on October 4th. Closer to that time is when the board says they will look at COVID-19 spread in schools before deciding on any next steps. In Kissimmee, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.